Good morning, everybody. Dick Wolfson here on the corner of Ohio and Meridian. And with me for the second time, good morning, Will Higgins, formerly of The Star, and now the head of your own tour company called... Will Higgins Tours. And what do you do on those tours? Well, we take people to around to places that, that are right under their noses all day long, but they have no idea of the weirdness the that real occurred story. there. Yeah, the, the, the unofficial the... weird history of Indianapolis. Now, we did something about a month or so ago, mm -hmm. and you had some people take the tour, so let's try to get some more business for you. Excellent. Where are are we standing here Will? this is the old federal courthouse yeah. and um, and in uh, and but my story is about the Reverend Jim Jones oh. who we all know is a mass murderer yeah. serial killer led all those people to their suicides in right. Guyana but what you, people don't know is that in 1954 he was a preacher here in Indianapolis uh -huh. And he raised money. He was savvy. And he raised money by selling monkeys door to door Wait, for like. You, did you say monkeys? Monkeys. Little monkeys. primates. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. $29 he would charge. And he did pretty well with it. And he would import them from India. So one day, I think it was April 1954, a shipment of monkeys came, seven of them, <laughs> yes. but four were dead and uh, three were, bare, were clinging to life. Right. And they landed in the basement of this building, which was the customs office at the time. And so Jones refused to pay the $89 cash on delivery because four of the monkeys were dead and the three were nearly dead. Yeah. So he walked away from it. But the hero was a, the assistant customs manager. His name was Ocon. And he quickly sent out for bananas and he mashed them up along with some brandy that he confiscated. He's the customs man. And he fed it to the dying monkeys and revived them. And very soon they were chattering, um, you know, just like monkeys okay. do. Tell me in 15 seconds how you know this story. Uh, how do I know this story? Well, I, I read it in the paper. Oh. <laughs> You can okay. you can look up fab, can. fascinating old things and that since occurred. You work for the paper. And you I, have great access. I do. Yeah. Where are we going next? Uh, next, we're going to go to the former site of the Pink Poodle. Okay, I don't know, have enough time to ask you what that is, but you're going to tell us when we get. I will do that. We'll be back in an hour. Yeah.